Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your monthly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of the support that you show me each and every day. If you are interested in receiving a daily oracle guidance message, I do actually draw and upload to my Instagram and Facebook page every single day a daily oracle guidance card. Um, so if you want some additional guidance aside from my weekly or monthly uh, tarot forecast, definitely head over to Instagram or Facebook and follow me. If you are interested in receiving a private reading, uh, head over to my website, read, read how I do offer my private readings. I do actually have my website linked below in the description bar, so if you are interested in a private reading, definitely head over to my website. For these general tarot forecasts, um, make sure that you're not just watching your sun sign, but your moon sign and your rising sign or ascendant sign as well, because um, with these general tarot forecasts, you know, some weeks you might resonate more with one, one sign, and then other weeks you actually might resonate more with, let's say, your moon sign or your rising sign. Uh, and sometimes you, you'll actually resonate with all of the signs, and you can actually um, gain more insight um, by watching your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So um, again, I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support, all of your support, all of your comments. You guys are just truly awesome. Um, and, and if you are interested in donating to my page to help support my channel, I do actually have on my website a donation uh, link as well. So definitely head over to my website. If you are interested in donating to my channel, I do wish you guys just a wonderful month. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your July 2016 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. All right, so Aquarius, for this reading, I am using a Celtic cross spread. I do always use a Celtic cross spread for my monthly tarot forecast. I'm also using the Thelema Tarot along with the Daily Guidance from Your Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, upcoming future messages for Aquarius for the month of July 2016. What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, Aquarius, very nice. Oh, we have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this is a pessimistic energy. You're thinking that the glass is half empty instead of half full, and you have to try to turn this around. Because it's a minor arcana energy, you can absolutely change this. And looking at some of the other energies, um, this might have been how you're feeling maybe in the month of June, um, because I am filming this right at the end of June. So for some of you, this is what you're feeling right now, um, but it, I, I think it's gonna be short-lived. You should see these these cards. These are some really amazing energies, Aquarius. This is great. So right at the center, we have the Emperor, <laughs> which is, for some of you, this is you taking back your control. This is an empowering energy. The Emperor represents success, prosperity, abundance, uh, stability. So for some Aquarians, this is like I mentioned, you taking back your control, or this is you feeling like you're empowered or in control. Um, for others, this certainly can be you actually feeling successful, quite successful. 
in regards to a new beginning because crossing the emperor i have the ace of cups which is amazing this is a blessing from the heavens this is a beautiful new beginning that fulfills you on an emotional level so for some of you you might have just received this beautiful blessing this could be yes a new relationship you feeling successful um, with finding a new relationship or with receiving this beautiful new beginning um, ace of cups any sort of new beginning that just you know makes you incredibly happy that fulfills you on an emotional level um, for others you know I, I feel like for a smaller number of you you might have maybe found love with an older gentleman the emperor is um, normally uh, a very wise, stable, uh, established man, someone who's a little bit older, very secure, very stable. Um, you know, he's accomplished a lot in his lifetime. So for some of you, you might have found love with this emperor type of person, this character here. Um, for others, this Ace of Cups could be a new job, a new home. Um, some sort of beautiful new beginning that fulfills you on an emotional level and this is you maybe gaining control um, with this new beginning or this is you coming through quite successful um, with this new beginning now at the foundation I do have the four of wands which is my happy home card so certainly this ace of cups can be a new home for some Aquarians the four of wands talks of longevity things happening within our lives that are really going to last a very long time. This is also, you know, bringing in that stability, that security within your life. So for many of you, this Ace of Cups, you know, certainly can be a new home. It's It can also be a new job. You are definitely building on your security and your stability you know maybe bringing in more security or stability within your life but this is also happiness um, family get-togethers this can be marriage um, I'm sensing for some of you this is definitely a relationship I'm really uh, focused on the two birds here um, I'm not sure if these are doves. I'm not sure what kind of birds these are, but I'm really focused on these birds and there's only two so um, You know for some of you maybe you know you've moved to a new home or you might have moved in with your partner Maybe you know some Aquarians you got married um, But in the recent past I do have the six of cups which the Six of Cups can represent that nostalgic energy. This can be for some of you, you reminiscing, thinking about the past. And then for others, this can be, you know, something in your past that was relevant uh, in your recent past. Um, so a person from your past for some Aquarians could have come back into your life. This Ace of Cups can certainly be you reconciling with someone yeah, the Six of Cups can represent something from your past, a situation that doesn't have closure yet. And then for others, I think this is you maybe just thinking about your past, reminiscing. Now, crowning you, I have the Ace of Swords. So this is what you're thinking about. You're thinking about victory. You want to be victorious or, or come through uh, quite successful with something. With the Ace of Swords, it, it's victory after going down a very long road with lots of obstacles, lots of challenges. Um, for, for some Aquarians, you're thinking about um, the truth, receiving the truth, wanting the truth, wanting clarity thinking about maybe speaking your truth. Um, for some of you, you're thinking about contracts, documents, signing, maybe legal contracts. Um, from some of you, maybe you're thinking about eliminating, um, you know, someone or something, um, you know, within your life that's, that's maybe no longer serving you. Maybe, you know, something that has been getting you down now, coming up in the near future, and this is around the second week, we do have the Knight of Wands. So this is a very hasty, fast-paced energy that's coming through. Um, for some of you, there might be a fire sign character whose significance around the second week of the month, a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person who might be very significant around this time. 
For others, this is your energy. You're extremely passionate, very creative, highly, highly driven and ambitious. You want to charge forward. Um, and this is definitely, you know, that very, very hasty energy coming through. Um, so for some Aquarians, you might be traveling um, around the second week. And then for other Aquarians, this is you maybe moving to a new home around the second week of the month. Now, in the position of your power, I do have temperance. So temperance is a, is a very, very strong healing energy. This is a beautiful energy. So for some Aquarians, maybe this move to a new home or maybe with, you know, things happening within your life quickly or for some of you, maybe you're traveling. This is actually bringing in a lot of healing, uh, a healing energy to you. Um, this is your emotions becoming balanced. So by this point, those of you who were experiencing that Five of Cups, I think it's gone. I think that you've healed. Um, your Things are balanced. Your emotions are balanced at this time. This is a wonderful energy. This is also that divine energy. This is your angels, your guides around you, guiding you. With temperance, it does also represent patience and moderation. So all things in moderation, um, you know, with what's going on within your life, uh, Aquarius, it might be a bit of a process, so patience might be needed, but I do think see things happening. So yes, moderation is key, but I do still see things uh, happening for you. So I don't want you to think um, that you're really left waiting. Um, for many of you, this could definitely be things happening on divine time. And as you might already know, with divine with divine timing at play, it is very much a process. Um, in the position of how those around you are viewing you, Aquarius, I do have the hermit. So for some of you, maybe you are spending time alone. Maybe you are seeking that solitude, um, spending time alone, going within, listening to your intuition. But um, other Aquarians, I feel like you might be seeking counsel. The Hermit could be a character. This could be a lawyer. This, For other Aquarians, this definitely could be you seeking that counsel. You might be seeking advice um, from an older, wiser, trusted mentor, maybe a grandfather. For others, this could be you speaking to an attorney, um, receiving some counsel, or enlightenment. Um, this could be for some Aquarians, you finding something out around the third week, because this definitely can represent for some of you, you receiving that enlightenment, seeing something clearly, something is maybe becoming illuminated uh, to you or illuminated for you to see. Now, in the hopes and fears position, I do have the page of cups. So, for some of you, you're hoping on, you know, that exciting, positive communication to come through. You're hoping for that news. Yeah, hoping to receive a message. And then in the final outcome position, I do have the Queen of Swords, which is very much your energy. Um, you know, but the Queen of Swords, you know, she she wants the truth. She wants the truth. She wants clarity. Um, you know, she represents that very logical energy. So for many Aquarians, this is your energy at the end of the month. You're incredibly logical. Maybe you're planning for your future or maybe thinking about something thoroughly. The Queen of Swords, you know, thinks about something thoroughly before taking action. Um... So, you know, you might be thinking about something or planning or strategizing or, you know, this could be you literally cutting to the truth, um, cutting to the truth of a matter, hearing the truth, speaking your truth. Um, I feel like this is very positive, though. You know, this is this is a very strong woman, a very strong, independent woman. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You know, these could be your energies here at the end of July. You know, um, she doesn't play around. You know, if, if someone or something is not serving her or doesn't have her best interest, she will use this sword to cut them out of her life. So for some of you, 
that could certainly be what you're doing. Um, for others, this is you just being incredibly logical at this time, maybe planning for your future, maybe thinking about something thoroughly. Um, and it could be because you maybe receive counsel or advice from someone. And then for others, it could be because something has been illuminated for you. You now maybe are enlightened. Um, you found something out. Um, but overall, honestly, Aquarius, this is just a great reading. I think you're going to have a great month. You have some amazing energies. You're starting out with the Emperor with the Ace of Cups. You have the Four of Wands at your foundation, the Ace of Swords crowning you. Around the second week, you have, you know, things really moving forward. Maybe you're traveling or maybe things within your life are just happening quickly. I see that you're surrounded by a beautiful healing energy. And your, your emotions are balanced at this time. Um, for some of you, maybe you are receiving counsel. And then for others, maybe you're receiving that enlightenment. Um, you also could be spending time alone, healing. Um, and by the end of the month, I feel like, you know, if you were experiencing that Five of Cups at all throughout the month of July, I feel like you're back on your game. And um, you're going into the month of August. Yeah. On a high note, this is a great reading. So let me pull you. Ooh, there we go, an additional guidance card. Wow, okay. This resonates wonderfully. We have assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth giving you strength and guiding your words. Wow, Aquarius. Wow. So that could be for some of you why we have this Ace of Swords. Because you're thinking, because it's crowning you, you're thinking about speaking your truth. But Spirit is actually guiding you to do that. Spirit wants you to actually do that. They're with you while you do that. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you the strength that you need and guiding your words. Wow, Aquarius. Um, yeah, this is, this is amazing. Um, yeah, and by the end of the month, I think that, you know, for many of you, you've definitely spoken that truth. Um, yeah, and you're moving into the month of, of August on a really good note. So, Aquarius, I do hope that you found this reading helpful, and I hope you have a great month of July. Take care.